Man, what's good, y'all, man? Y'all know the vibes, and it is a special one today. I normally don't like watching one and then doing it. I like being surprised like we all are, but I already seen this one before, and it's, it's pretty interesting. So we're going to get into this one. It's kind of more of a killer situation. We kind of left it alone, but we're going back to it. But y'all know the vibes, man. Follow me on the Instagram. We going up, we going up, we going up on everything. So y'all just tap in with it and and let's let's go on this journey together to be to be famous, man. Let's do it. But let's get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. Third, 2022, officers from the Milwaukee Police Department in Wisconsin responded to a slew of 911 calls. One caller, Kashawn Rowley, shared that he was at his girlfriend Leah Davis's apartment and she was shot. Oh, Are man. you hear any gunshots? Over here, over here. Over here? Hey, come here. Layers. Okay, the boyfriend called. Officers follow Kashan to Leah's apartment, where they find an unresponsive Leah on the floor, blood coming from her head. A third officer arrives, and they apprehend Kashan to remove him from the room so they can fully attend to Leah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. She's got a, she's got a I'm gonna keep it so 100. From from off of just the change of voice, I can already tell it's something up. Like that just seemed weird, did it not? Or am I tripping? Unshot wound to the head. But listen, look, listen. She told me to go. I was listen. So I came over here, right? I'm literally she listen. She only let me stand right here. Mind you, okay? Listen. Did you listen to me? Yeah. Listen. Listening to me. Listen. She only let me stand right here. Look, I'm finna show you. Uh -huh. She only let me stand right here, bro. Listen. She was like, oh, I'm finna. She, I said, I said, I actually can I come over. She said, you can come over for a little bit. Stuttering. I said, okay. She asked, yeah, but uh, but when I got over here, she was like, no, you can't come in or uh -huh. something like that because she want to get ready to go to sleep. Okay. I'm like, okay, you want to get ready to go to sleep, so I'm finna go. I literally came down here to my car. I literally came over here to my car. I got in my car. All right. Okay. Listen. I, listen. Radio. Huh? Listen. No pulse on her? No. Or CPR, I guess. Yeah, I am. Starting CPR. Listen, I swear to God, on everything You're I good, love. You're good, buddy. Huh? You're good, buddy. Okay, look, I swear to God, on everything I love. Look, I came to my car. The moment I opened my car door, I heard eight shots come from her apartment. I literally, bro, I'm thinking somebody shooting, I was shooting else somewhere, so I pull up to see. I'm like, damn, what the but I turn around because I'm like, dog, bro, that's my girl, bro. I really love this girl to death. Right. So I'm like, okay, so I turn around, bro. Listen, I'm being on the door to try to get the back in the apartment because I don't have the key or nothing, bro. I need a cage car for him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. For one, for one, if you're a victim, if you're, you're a acquaintance, I think I'm saying it right, you're a friend of the victim, so, which is the, the young lady that's laying out on the floor, she's the victim. And he's supposed to be a boyfriend. He wouldn't be trying to explain himself. He'll be more emotional that it happened to his girl and he want to know why. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, he probably would have been on the floor holding her. Or he either would have just been sobbing, not trying to explain. And then by what they, what he said, uh, she wouldn't let him in the house. So that's already seeming that they be having altercations. So, and a lot of guys be, I don't care YouTube, a lot of guys be tender dick over females. They be too too far gone, man. This seems like a, a, a very sad situation already. I'm not going to lie. We just started CPR and shot to the head. We're not conscious, not breathing. Yeah, there's gray matter. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So, listen, she tell me the moment I get by her car, I, I listen to women. Look at the change of voice. Right? Mm -hmm. Listen, I hear eight shots, bro. I run upstairs, bro, because I'm, I listen, but her door is unlocked because she just closed the door behind me, bro. I made sure she was okay because I told her, I'm, uh, when I was here, I said, okay, I'm going to call you later and like that because I know you got work tonight. She work at Walmart on uh, East Capitol. Okay. Okay? So, listen, when I got to my car, I swear to God, I heard eight shots. I go up there, bro. I look. I, all I do is open the door, bro. She's laying on the f***ing ground, bro. We'll sort it out, buddy. Do we know about how long ago this happened? We just got here, and this guy uh, is the one that called. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Do we have any idea? Info on her? No, I have none. I, we just got up here. So, right, yeah, I mean, you guys came here quicker than me, you know. Hey, there is a bullet next to her on the left side, so be careful where it is. 
I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get in your way here, man. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, there's no plan for that. Yeah. But right now, she's obviously shot. And you're the, first, the only person in the apartment, so you're just detained right now, okay? You got nothing here, right? No. Like I said, you're not arrested, but you're just detained until we figure out what's going on. All right. Bro, it's it's uh when you're emotional, you actually cry. Your body is weaker. He's he's more of like, oh my god, I'm trying to get an explanation. Oh my god, bro, why, bro? Just why? This is why I love watching these videos because I just want to understand why. What drip? What drove you to this point that you felt like you needed to inflict? Inflict? Dang, I be fucking up. All what what would drive you to inflict this much pain onto someone from your emotionals that you can't control? Like, go get a job, bro. You're supposed to be so focused on a bag that you ain't even worried about. Like, what? A relationship? You young, bro. Come on, bro. Now you throwing all your way, a life away because you can't handle your emotionals, your emotional feelings with a female that probably is just trying to get away from you because you know good and you know you're not no good bro like come on bro this is sad what happened she listen, listen, listen. we're taking a second here to point out the irony behind his shirt in this situation i'm gonna tell you the same thing that i told you listen so me and i listen she had she just had got home about like 45 minutes ago hour ago Okay. She, I called her. She, I said, can I come see you? She asked, at first she had said no. I said, okay. She had said, I said, can I come see you? She said, yeah, you can come see me, but only for a little bit because I have to go to work tonight because I work, she work at Walmart East Capital. I normally take her to work between okay. 9.30 and 9.40. I said, okay. When I got over there, when I got over here, she only let me stand in the door. She didn't allow, let me go in the house or nothing like that, bro. Nothing. Like, that's my girlfriend. I've been over there multiple times. Okay, so but she didn't let me go over there. I, so she I said, okay, you have to leave because I'm finna get ready to go to sleep. I said, okay. I literally walked down the stairs. I came out the door. She closed the door behind me. I told her. I said, okay, I'm gonna call you later and make sure that you good and that you okay because I know you got work. And I told her to call me if you need a ride to work. Okay, this is what I do on the daily. So, I said, okay. I got literally got to my car door. I literally go to open my car door and I hear eight shots coming out of her apartment. Not her apartment, but the fucking house complex you know what i'm saying so then i literally i'm getting scared like i'm like, all i'm which hearing is shots yours? huh which car is yours red flat charger right there right here mm -hmm. it's parked the wrong way yeah it's parked the wrong way okay. lamers yeah oh there you are okay i'm trying to find an id i'm trying to look for the gun sorry sorry no no you're good you're good i'm just trying to make sure there's no gun in here 7250 they're calling it doe oh my goodness bro Oh my goodness, bro. I'm pretty sure he's probably like 24. The young lady's probably 23, 24, 25. Bro, all of all, both families are going to be hurt off in emotions, bro. Bro, get y'all emotions in check, bro. Leave that person alone before it, it gets to the point where you're, you're hurt or you're going to hurt them. Like, it's not that deep, bro. Your life is. More important than to risk it on somebody else's, bro. This is a wild situation. It, it did not have to end like this. After that, what'd you do? Because, listen, I got up in the car, bro. I pulled up, I'm like, what the f*** they shooting? But, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to get shot. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm an innocent bystander. Okay. Or whatever. I don't want him to come outside or whatever the f*** catch may be and shoot me. Okay. So, I'm like, okay, bet. So, I literally, I, but I turn around and like that. I literally turn around. I get all, I pull the f*** back up, bro. I'm banging on the f***ing door to get back up in there because I don't have the keys to her apartment. I cannot get you in know? that complex. What? I'm trying to sort out what's going on right now, man. We'll come talk to you in a second. Hey, yo, why listen, bro so I swear close? I don't know everything I love. So you went back in? Yeah? No, I, listen, I went back in after the shot. Okay. I went back in after the shot because I got, I knocked on the fucking well, door and the neighbor well, opened the door for me. Okay. Okay. And you went back upstairs? I went back upstairs. Was your door open? Your door was already unlocked. I'm telling you, the door is already unlocked. I'm literally, bro, I'm, I'm literally trying to check. I'm back up. I'm like, what's wrong? I'm like, what's wrong? All I see is blood on the floor. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, no, it's in my car. Okay. What's your name? Keyshawn. K-E-S-H-A-W-N. -E -E Rousey. Bro, he's trying to explain himself. He's not trying to be emotional. Bro, oh my goodness, bro. Does that look like a bullet hole in the wall right in front of you? Right there? Uh, yeah, that's what that is. It looks like you got some brain matter over here. Yeah, it came in through here. Is that one right there or not? 
That's probably Looks like she might have been shot twice. Unless she held up her arm in front of her. Ah, uh, here's the exit wound. Okay. Ray matter. Five wounds total, one, two. One in the other arm. And then the two in the head. And look at there's stuff all over here. All up here. Did you look through the window? Bro, I'm trying to figure out this. Like, the first thing I do is I call her, I call her friend. I'm bro, like, you're bro, going to jail, said, bro. I don't know what the fuck just happened. She said, what? I said, bro, I don't know what just happened. Bro, it's her. It's just stuff from our apartment. She said, wait, 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 wait. She said, wait, 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 what's going on, bro? I said, bro, I just heard eight shots come out of her apartment, bro. She said, wait, wait, wait. I called her granny, bro. I told her granny, I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. She her granny, her granny, like, what you mean, bro? Eight shots come out of her apartment. I said, bro, I'm literally in the fucking house right now. Bro. Rousey, R O W S E Y. Just a question I'm going to ask you. Any warrants, something I've worried about? No, we're yeah. not. Probation, bro. No, we're not. Okay, all right. Slide in real quick. We're the mm -hmm. window here. Get you cool. Thomas, you said, or Davis? I mean? Davis, What's D -A -B -I -S. Middle? I don't, I don't know her middle name. Okay, she lives here. Yes. All right, slide. slide I used to stay. Okay, wait. Are you, you going to jail, bro? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm the keys gonna, so I can get the air conditioning. Okay, I'm not gonna do nothing, bro. Can you just, I'm off cooperating. Can you just leave it open so I can yeah. literally just see her? Just squat number on us. Listen, I swear to God, Jasmine. Oh. Jasmine, on everything I love, bro, listen. She said I could come over for a little bit. I came over here for literally five minutes, bro. Oh, she didn't let me in the door, bro. She didn't let me in the door. I literally listen. When she told me to leave, I left. I literally got by my car door and I heard some shots coming from her apartment, bro. Keep trying to relax. Bro. When I get the key, I'll turn the air conditioner. Bro. People don't get shot for no reason. Right, right. People don't get shot for no reason. It had to be a reason for someone to be mad enough to shoot you. First question, who else is mad at this young lady that work at Walmart that they wanted to pull up to her house and shoot at her eight times at a two-story apartment that she's going to have to run down through the same door which that you are outside, bro? Come on. you That's that's the that's the culprit you're trying to paint the picture to be. You know what I'm saying? That's, you're trying to paint a picture of a culprit that's not real that don't even make sense bro like bro you 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 did it bro just by awful bro come on bro why you let your emotions get the best of you you don't want in you gotta be better than that <laughs> listen i just want to breathe bro that's yeah, it no, I'll leave the door. i just want to yeah, just want to breathe bro. i got you then our granny keep asking me did you do it no i didn't do that shit. i love that girl and they found five total bullet holes there's there's gray matter on her pants. If her, if her grandma asked that, seal. oh my goodness. There is a bullet fragment on her left on her right side over here. And then there's, uh, there's look like a strike mark in the corner. You can see it from here so far. And then once they move out of the way, I'll be able to keep looking. Seven. Seven, seven holes. Seven? seven? Yep, seven holes. Chest, one right arm, two in the head, two in the back. Her, uh, her phone's ringing. Is that anything you? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, just leave it. Hey, oh, is that car a plate register you, man? Yeah, that's, how, that's my car. Hey, you see anybody coming out of that place? Bro, I didn't know, bro. I left. I pulled off. Okay, listen. Yeah, shit, bro. Calm bro. Down, down, bro. I got scared because there was shots. I pulled off. I came back. So when you came out, when you came out of here, you didn't see anybody go in? Or? No, I didn't. But listen, she was already at home when I got here. I know, but you said you, were, you left because she didn't want to. Yeah, but she didn't let me in the door. I don't know if somebody was in there or not. Okay. She didn't let me in the house, sir. What the shit in the window shut up? How that shit in the What are you talking about? You called me and said they shut up. No, I did. I said I heard eight shots. I said I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. Okay. I heard eight shots from in there. I heard bang, 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 bang. Come on, cooperate with me. I am cooperating, bro. I know you're going to breathe. But the whole neighborhood ain't going to breathe. Yes, I know the whole neighborhood ain't going to know my business, bro. But I'm just saying, bro. I'm trying to tell you because everybody trying to look at me like I did. No, I told you. Look, I told you straight up. You're not arrested. You're detained right now, right? Okay, and I understand that. We. I a couple things I want to point out. I'm sorry, I keep pausing it. This is just coming in my mind. Bro, cops trying to act like he he they his friend for one, bro. They is not your friend, bro. They just trying to get you to spill as much information. Then they gonna read you your Miranda rights and tell you don't got the right. You you got the right to be quiet whenever you want to, and he gonna continue to talk. That's why they didn't even read it to him yet, cause he gonna talk regardless, cause he trying to paint a picture that ain't ain't able to be painted because he he is the picture. You know what I'm saying? And for two, bro, I don't want to be that guy that think I know how to get out of every situation. But like I said, we the only people that's right is me and the people that's in the comments. We're the only one to write. The cops are not right. And the people that did it, that's in it is not right. We're the only one right. For one, 
He could have said, hey, she had a guy in there. I don't know what happened, but when I pulled up, we got the fussing. I left. I said, he can have her. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like he could have painted a different picture, but he's so amped up that he can't even paint a psychological picture, you know what I'm saying, to get him out of his own situation. Or he could just shut up. That's the most absolutely smartest thing in the world to do is just shut up and just say, let me talk to my lawyer because I already know how y'all like to do in these type of situations. I want to talk to my lawyer and we're going to get out of this situation and make sure that we good because I'm already in handcuffs. So I'm already looking like a, a person of interest. So I want to talk to my lawyer from this point on. You can take me to the jail. I hope she okay. I'm start crying. Whatever you got to do. That's tough, though. You get called here, someone shot, right? Yes, and I called you. Hold on. Hold I on. hate to be that person that think I can make an you explanation. Keep me on over because I'm on your side. All right. I, I told you I straight up, you're not tired. arrested. You're detained. I just obviously got to figure out what's going on. Okay. You're in the park. Right. She's shot. I'm sorry, not everything. You're not arrested. Your story checks out. Just let everything happen, uh, happen for a second. All right. Detectives are gonna come. Everybody's gonna talk to you. Things will be cool. Bro, all right. I'm, okay, bro. Just I'm be smooth with me. Bro. Okay. Oh, she was shot here. Are there any casings or anything in here? There's a bullet fragment over next to her. I saw that. Yeah, and there's a there's a strike there's a strike to the wall you see right here. Oh yeah. Right there, and then it hits there. But there's brain matter on the window over here, right over here, and it's in her lap, and she was up in the corner. So I'm curious. I don't think this happened here. I think. You don't think it happened here? No, there's not. Oh, of course. She got shot five there. times. She got shot five times. There's seven total holes. Yeah. Yeah. He said. uh what, here, what, is, what, what is the cop? Yeah, there's no one else in here. This was unlocked. Hey, bro, hey, bro, I'm, not, on, I'm not, bro. I'm not, bro. Can I just breathe? I'm breathing. No, but you're trying no, to get in the car. Not, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm, bro, I'm just letting you know. Bro. I got alibis, bro. Break when I just with I you, bro. I've been with you all day, bro. I just dropped you off over your empty thigh and I mean, over there by the court, bro, so you can play with Trey on him. I was just was with you, bro. Oh, this will be your last one. I'm going to have to close the door, bro. Okay. Anything on the home? That boy ain't trying to go to jail. He's he, he starting to catch up with him. Not, not, not one case on here. There's some cases in there. Y'all just ain't found him yet. He had come over here. This officer relays his knowledge of the situation to who appears to be an investigative officer. Simultaneously, Kashan again recounts his story to an officer, but added small additional bits of information. Bro. Okay, let's see how you change so, the story. Man, I'm talking to you. Listen, listen, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to y'all get asking me how I got no apartment? See, look, bro. He had time to think, calm down, and breathe. So he finna try to change the story up to make it seem like he didn't do it. That's not the case, bro. You did it, bro. Everything. When I first got here, mm -hmm. her okay. neighbor was opening the door. Mm -hmm. I came in the door. Mm -hmm. I knocked on her door. She opened it. She would not let me in, sir. She told you to come over, Okay, on, okay. Right? He already done switched it up. He said he called her prior to it, and she said he could come over. Now is his na her neighbor was already coming in, so he walked in behind her, and, and it was like a surprise that I'm here. You feel me? She said, I can okay. come over while we was on the phone. Me and her okay, literally okay, had a okay. conversation. We literally was on the phone. Mm. So that's your girlfriend? That was my ex-girlfriend, but we getting back together. Okay. Yeah, we was getting back together. How long were you guys together on off? We, well, listen, we've been together for a year and a half. We just we just broke up like three weeks ago, but me and her been talking about getting back together and stuff like that, and she said we getting back together. She just needed time to, you know what I'm saying, get through her feelings and stuff like that. Right. I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm literally sitting here being, you know what I'm saying? I'm literally sitting here being okay with all that because I understand. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got feelings, bro. Kashan recounts his story from here, reiterating that he was at the apartment. Then as he was getting into his car to leave, he heard eight gunshots, sped off in fear, but then returned, allegedly concerned about Leah's safety. He shares in greater detail the moment of his return to her apartment. I knocked on her door again. I'm like, Leah, 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 Leah. I check the door to see if it's unlocked. The door's unlocked. I open the door. All I see in her is on the floor dead. I literally drop down to my knees, bro. Mm -hmm. The first person I call is her motherfucking friend. I call her right there mm -hmm. i call her friend i tell her i'm like bro i just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex i'm crying like a motherfucker, bro bro she's like hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on she just left me and shit like that bro i said fam i just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex so that she asked said hold on i'm gonna call you back i called her granny her granny said what the fuck happened what the fuck happened i'm telling her granny bro like I, bro, I just heard eight shots come out your granddaddy complex your granddaughter complex and shit like that i'm literally doing all that shit, right all I know is, bro, all I know is, bro, I literally, bro, I swear to God on my soul. I'm like, bro, who the fuck is this? And she asked me, did I do it? I said, I did not do it. 
I said I didn't do it. I said I don't know, bro. I said she didn't let me in the house. Did you see somebody run out? I didn't. I was. Go, I sped down the street. Car, I sped way. down the street, bro. I didn't see nobody run in and out. When you heard the shots fired out here, you didn't see anybody run out the apartment? No, I didn't. I drove off. Do you think someone was in there? But I don't know. She didn't let me through the door. Okay. He was in the apartment when we got here. He was in the apartment? Yeah. Yes, I can't. Listen, I had the door. I had the door. I had the Bro. door. I'm sorry. In the apartment? Yeah. Y'all see him? Y'all see him? It look like he's trying to think of some stuff to say, bro. It look like he's trying to, like, plot on something to say. Like, bro, they not, they not buying the story, bro. What else can I say, bro? That's scary, bro. Yes, I can't. Listen, I had the door. I had the door. I had the door. Look, I'm sorry. I'm trying to play. I know you gave me story, the story, but... Black thing, but... I got the black thing held open so I can get back into the uh, house because I don't have a key to get back in. I hear you, buddy. Let's take a seat. You guys got the keys for 541? Yeah, that's so my you guys, car. Yeah, what do you mean? The guy, the probably the possible suspect is sitting in the back of it. It's not running. And he's yelling, he's hot, so I want to get the AC on there so I can shut the door on. In this moment, a bystander speaks to an officer about getting information for Leah's grandmother, who is apparently on scene. Okay, well, I can't really say anything because I don't know anything other than there's somebody that's shot. Can't release any information that right now. Tough, that, that's her grandma. Is her mom around? Okay, well, have her sit there. I'll come talk to her in a minute, okay? The bystander implies that Leah's mother is deceased, and social media post made by Leah herself supports this claim. Leah's grandmother has now not just lost her daughter in recent years, but now oh her granddaughter, too. Do we have an officer available? Uh, the grandmother is down on the east end of Lisbon. Probably be the next of him. That's possibly him right there. Oh, well, that's him, but that's possibly suspect. He's talking very fast, like he's nervous. Extremely fast. Yes, uh, he is. Sorry, it's kind of a clue. Is there a gun up there? There's no gun, there's no casings. Uh, and, and I wonder did he leave this, to go throw right away here. the gun? He's on the wrong side of the tape. Yeah, the same side for now. Okay. okay. Did you see, hear anything? You're right next door. Hey, if you, I ain't gonna lie, I hope officers don't watch my video. <laughs> but if you're an officer, <laughs> if you're an officer, bro, you gotta understand, bro. You gotta understand, bro. Like, it's a natural feeling to be honestly scared of y'all, bro. I don't care, bro. It's a natural feeling. Just, it, it, y'all inflict fear in some people's hearts. So, it's a thin line of like, did I see anything? Did I hear anything? Hmm. No. <laughs> Even if I did, I did. You feel me? Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, I'll let a detective know. Thanks. While an on-camera interview does not happen with this individual, officers do question the downstairs neighbor about the incident. When I was playing, we heard a loud bam bam. I didn't think it was a gunshot, but I just thought it was bam on the door some more. Like I thought he kicked it out instead of hitting oh, me, but then he loud? ran off. Yeah. Could you make out what he was saying? He was like saying let me in, she was saying go or leave or something. Okay. Just like that. I just moved in like three months ago. Okay. And they argue all the time. Ten minutes later Ooh. he come the car pulls back up, but he has someone with him, a female, I hear a female voice. And they're both like, she dead. So I'm like, oh no, he killed her. The female that this witness uh, mentions yep, is never explained, right nor are we aware of any charges pressed against a second individual for this case. Rumors shared on social media detail that Kashan may have cheated on Leah, and that action prompted the breakup, but those claims are unsubstantiated. Considering this witness was primarily listening through her doorway, it is possible she was hearing Kashan's panicked voice as he uses falsetto and reaches a considerably higher pitch. And then he knocked right. on my door. Bro, she, just because he got a higher pitch of voice, they, she thought it was another person with, with him. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. I opened it, and he said, did y'all hear anything happen? And I was like, all I saw was a black charger. And he said, that's my car. He was like, I came, and she wouldn't let me in. She told me to leave. I left. He was like, so, he said, so I thought somebody in here did it. I said, no, you didn't think nobody in here did it. 
So that's why I called the police. Okay. Because I feel, I see he's trying to flip it. I just closed my door. Did you, had you called the police prior to him knocking on your door? Yeah. Okay, you're right. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Okay. In the video we obtained, Kashan never implies that a neighbor might be responsible, nor did he mention talking to the downstairs neighbor after supposedly discovering Leah's body. Oh, yeah. leaving out that's information. It's tight. You see that? What the heck had pink cups? Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Bro, <laughs> I'm right, I didn't do that shit, my nigga. Okay, nobody's. Okay. Y'all finna have me sending the sale and shit, bro? Yes, no. you did it. You going to jail. Yeah, I know. They're gonna talk to you about what, what, okay, you, bro. what you saw. Okay, okay she bro. cheated on you, bro. It's part of. According to news reports, investigators found more details surrounding the 911 calls. The first call revealed further suspicion of Kashan's actions. Allegedly, before Kashan called 911, he called a friend and shared that Leah had been shot at her apartment. Kashan told officers this information on scene. However, his friend revealed Kashan left out the bit of information where he allegedly admitted to shooting Leah, which is what prompted the friend to make the first 911 call. Wow. Investigators interviewed others who were close to Kashan and Leah and found that Kashan was apparently very possessive of her. The pair held a very rocky relationship, as alluded by Kashan himself on scene. Other close friends shared that Kashan had threatened to kill Leah last fall, and he allegedly purchased a gun in order to do so. News reports indicated Leah had eight gunshot wounds in total, matching Kashan's story that he heard eight gunshots. Sadly, investigations also discovered that Kashan and Leah knew of each other since third grade. After his arrest, Kashan was charged with first-degree murder, with modifiers for using a dangerous weapon and for domestic abuse. This is the only criminal charge we could find in Kashan's records. Roughly two weeks later, he entered a plea of not guilty. The court set a $250,000 cash bond that Kashan never posted. In February of 2023, almost eight months after Leah's killing, a jury unanimously found Kashan guilty at trial. In March, he was sentenced to life in prison, confining him for at least 35 years after Leah's death until April of 2057, when he will be 55 years old. Violations during his prison sentence can extend his total stay by up to 40 days for each infraction. He may petition for extended supervised release after his prison sentence is complete. So if he get out on good behavior and when he turn 55, he gonna be walking the streets again, basically. I ain't gonna lie, the, the system is, is, is really bad. That's another reason why I watched this. Um, he should have got life in prison without parole. Um, he added out in a... a sense of emotion and he probably would do it again because he is that type of guy um god bless his soul god bless her soul god bless the family souls uh it's a tough situation they did not have to get this far um if you have a friend that's going through this in this type of situation please seek help for them before it get to this um and if you're going through this please seek help it, it's not worth it honestly it's just not life is our lives are better with you in it you know what i'm saying so that's what's going on guys today we have but that's it though y'all know the vibes man it's your boy wavy diesel man follow me on the ground y'all know the vibes man we back with another reaction so just keep supporting man just keep supporting we trying to get that watch time hours up we trying to get those views up we trying to get them subs up we trying to get everything up so shout out to y'all man we got a lot of good videos coming so appreciate y'all love y'all I ain't got time for goofy bitches and none of that stupid shit I'm out of town, ride around with shit, ain't scared to use this bitch Nigga got a pole, but he ain't gon' blow cause he ain't used to it Yeah, this 